What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Oh, do I got a special retro pickups for you today. This one might be, might just be my biggest retro pickups, well, maybe ever. So, I got a whole bunch to show you. Done some trading with a couple of the other people in my little retro collective group. We'll get to that very soon. Quick two shout outs. More gaming and kind of cool. Did some trades with both of them, so make sure to please give them a subscription. But first, I went out and did some retro gaming hunting today in the greater Columbus area of Ohio with a buddy of mine, who I haven't seen in many, many months. So we spent the day together, we visited a whole bunch of stores, and oh, do I got a whole bunch of stuff to show you. So first thing I'm going to show you guys, I got a stack of Xbox 360 games that I picked up today, so we'll go through those real quick. First, I got Marvel Ultimate Alliance and Four is a Motorsport 2 combination. Picked it up for five bucks. So I'm like, hey, you know what? Why not? I kind of want to play Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Seems like a fun game. So they're both in there. Oop, I think it's only the Four is a Motorsport manual, but eh, oh well, that's okay. Oh, nope, nope, they're both in there. Got both games. Everything's looking pretty clean. So hey, I'm happy with that, which is strange because the just Marvel Ultimate Alliance by itself is pretty expensive. Continue right along here. Game I've had before, but I gave it to a friend and I wanted to have again just to have in my collection because I like the game. TMNT, or excuse me, Too Human, excuse me, sorry. Got this for five bucks as well. That's my receipt from when I bought it. Everything's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Got the manual in there. Continuing right along. Another one that I've actually gotten before, but same thing. I gave to a friend, so I bought it for myself again. Tales of Vespilla for the Xbox 360. And then I also got two Resident Evil games that I didn't have before, but I wanted to have in the collection. Resident Evil 6. Got this for 8 bucks. Looking pretty good. No manual, unfortunately, but that's okay. Maybe I could track one of those down. Got both discs in there, so it's looking pretty good. And then this case is looking a little bit rough, but I also got Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City for $6.29. So, pretty happy about that. And got one more. I also got an Xbox One game as well while I was out and about today. I got Gears of War 5, finally. I finally saw this for a good price. I got it for 12 bucks. I said, you know what? from UGA Games in the Greater Columbus area. So if you're over there, check them out. Great selection. Definitely wanted to play the story, play the game, so I'm happy to have that. Oh, and speaking of, actually, I totally forgot about these. Picked these up for dirt cheap. I kind of stuck them in there. No manual, but that's okay. For $5, I got Bioshock Collection, which is just the disc, but that's okay. I just wanted to have the game. So maybe I'll get find a generic case for it. And then for a dollar for the Xbox One as well, I get Disney Infinity. So those will go in my gaming wallet. So that's all the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One stuff. Let me move all that out of the way. And we will continue right along. I also got two Super Nintendo games today. One my buddy actually got me as a early Christmas present, which I was happy about. I'll show that one off first. Donkey Kong Country 3 for 30 bucks, which is about how much I've seen it for. Usually I see it for like 35, 40. So I was pretty happy about that. He's like, he heard the shopkeeper say, oh yeah, it's 30. He's like, you know what, done. Bought it for me and handed it to me. It's like, well, thank you very much. And then I got myself while I was there. Lawnmower Man for 10 bucks. Kind of wanted to get this game. Looked interesting. Looks unique. Made by THQ. So look for a reaction coming down the pipeline of this one. Oh. And hold on, I got one more little surprise to show you guys real quick. Let me go grab it. I now have a random, just, machine box for the Nintendo 64. I saw it at one of the first shops that we went to. I said, hey, it's a kind of rough shape. What do you, would you offer me for it? He's like, oh, make me an offer. I said, you know what? I got seven bucks cash in my pocket. He, he's like, fine, deal. So seven bucks, box is mine now. It's in rough shape, but you know what? It'll look nice on the shelf. 
So I'll let that sit in the background while we continue on. Now, uh, speaking of Nintendo 64, we're going to continue on. I'll go over two games that I also picked up today, and then we'll start with the trades. Hope you're still here because I got a very special surprise to end this. A huge thank you to my friend of mine who also got me this game today as a Christmas present. I was just about ready to hit the floor when he did. He bought me Smash Brothers for their original Nintendo 64. I'm like, holy cow. This is one of the games that's been on my list for a while and he finally got it for me. And this is this is a hefty duty one, 60 bucks, ouch. But thank you so much, my friend. Love you, buddy. You're an awesome friend and I'm very grateful for you. Love spending the day with you if you watch this video. And then speaking of games, I also bought myself Tom and Jerry, Fist of Fury. Played this game a little for a few minutes earlier today. It's pretty fun, silly, just kind of mindless. Seems like a cool game to sit down for like 15, 20 minutes and just kind of turn your brain off. So I'm gonna delve more into it, look for a review coming down the pipeline. Now onto the trades. I traded X-Men Mutant Apocalypse to Moore Gaming and he traded me Turok for the Nintendo 64. And then from Kinda Cool, I traded him Yoshi's Story and he gave me Road Rash 64. But that's not all. The best part of this whole entire video and I'm so happy to have this. I'm now the proud owner. That's the controller for it. And what color is that? You guessed it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this thing is so pretty. The Midnight Purple Fantastic Nintendo 64. If you saw my short, you saw this. And oh, this thing looks so pretty. And I'll have half of them. I have the Jungle Green, the Gold, the Pikachu, and now I have this one. Kind of cool. Did an awesome job getting it all nice and cleaned up. Plays great. Been playing it all day. I'm very happy to have this in the collection. This thing is cool. It's going to sit so nice and pretty on my shelf. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to Kind of Cool who sold this, to, sold this to me for a great price. Now the proud owner, Midnight Purple. Fantastic. So... Have you guys seen anything out in the wild lately? Or is there any games you're looking to get for Christmas or maybe buy someone for Christmas? Because I had one heck of a game hunting day, visited a whole bunch of stores. Thanks for watching. Till next time.